What's going on everyone? Neil here from Busy Dads Board Gaming where I hope to help you connect face to face with family and friends through board games. Today we're going to learn how to play Abandon All Artichokes. Abandon All Artichokes is a card drafting deck building game for two to four players that plays in around 20 minutes. It was designed by Emma Larkins and published by GameRight who provided the game for this video. So let's dive in and learn how to play. To set up, first give each player a double-sided reference card with a playing area on one side and the turn guide on the other. Separate all 40 artichoke cards from the rest of the deck and then deal 10 artichoke cards face down to each player. This will form their personal deck and any remaining, if you're playing less than four players, can be put back in the box. Shuffle the remaining of the cards and put them face down in the center of the play area to form the garden stack. Reveal the top five cards of the garden stack and place them side by side to form the garden row. Leave space on the other side of the garden stack to form a discard pile known as the community compost pile. Composted cards will go here as the game progresses. Lastly, each player draws five artichoke cards from their personal deck into their hand. And when everything is done, it should look something like this. And now you're ready to play. Abandon All Artichokes will have you harvesting vegetables from the garden row to build your deck and gain new powers, while abandoning artichokes by any means necessary. If you're able to draw a hand free of artichokes at the end of your turn, you win the game. Whoever most recently ate a cooked green vegetable goes first and then play passes to the left. On your turn you'll carry out the following five phases in order, always one right after the other. In phase one, you'll replenish the garden row. Phase two, you'll harvest from the garden row. Phase three, you'll play any cards that you can from your hand. In phase four, you'll discard all unplayed or unplayable cards. And phase five, you'll draw a new hand of five cards. So let's go ahead and take a more in-depth look at each of those phases now. In phase one, the replenish phase, you'll replenish the garden row by revealing cards from the top of the garden stack until there are five cards. The first player of the game will skip this step on their first turn. If at any time the garden row contains four or more of the same card, shuffle the entire row back into the garden stack and then reveal five new cards. If the garden stack ever runs out, only the remaining garden row cards may be harvested in phase two. Phase 2 will have you harvest a face-up card from the garden row into your hand. This card may be played at any point during your turn. In Phase 3, you can play any number of cards from your hand. So, for example, if I were to play this Potatoes card, it says, reveal the top card of your deck. Compost if Artichoke, otherwise discard it. So in this case, we have an Artichoke, which will get composted. Once the card has been resolved, place it face-up on top of your personal discard pile before playing your next card. There are cards that will have you compost them or discard them on other players' decks, in which case you would just follow the card as instructed. Just a couple more things to note. You may only play a card if you're able to fulfill all of its requirements. So in the case of the carrots card that you compost exactly two artichokes, if you don't have two artichokes in your hand, you'll be unable to fulfill all of its requirements and therefore would not be able to play it. When you're told to compost a card, place it face up in the community compost pile next to the garden stack. All composted cards are out of play for the rest of the game. You cannot play an artichoke card unless another card instructs you to do so. And finally, unless a card's instructions state otherwise, you may continue playing cards until you either run out of cards to play or you choose not to play any more of your cards. Phase four is the discard phase. This will have you discard all unplayed or unplayable cards in your hand face up to the top of your discard pile. And lastly, in phase five, you'll draw five cards from the top of your personal deck to refill your hand. If your deck runs out of cards before you've drawn five cards, draw as many as you can, shuffle your discard pile to form a new deck and continue drawing until you have five. 
Just note that it is possible for both your deck and your discard pile to run out, in which case you may end up with fewer than 5 cards in your hand. Lastly, do not shuffle your discard pile to form a new deck unless you're unable to draw a hand of 5 cards at the end of your turn. Or, a potato or leak card is played and the target deck is empty. When you refill your hand at the end of your turn, if none of your cards are artichokes, you immediately win the game. Reveal your hand and say abandon all artichokes. However, this is not likely to happen for your first few turns. As was mentioned before, play continues back and forth as you harvest vegetables to your hand, play them for your abilities in order to compost artichokes to the compost pile, and add vegetables to your own personal deck. Only through this are you able to pad your deck full of vegetables rather than artichokes, so that at the end of your turn, you have a better chance of drawing a hand full of vegetables and no artichokes, thus winning you the game. But there you have it. That is how you play Abandon All Artichokes. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you've gotten any value out of this video whatsoever, feel free to subscribe and like, and maybe share it with a friend or two as it goes a long way in helping the channel grow. And lastly, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, links in the description below. But until next time, as always, thanks for watching and happy gaming.